<laughs> she should have never left out my arms from the beginning. <laughs> With her mother and grandmother offering comfort, 16-year-old Shannara Mobley is reliving Friday afternoon again and again. She still can't make any sense of what happened and why someone did it. Please, please marry my baby. I know you, if you don't have no kids, if you, I mean, if you was faking a pregnancy or, I mean, you just can't have no kids. I mean, how you think I feel? I own the truth enough, I'm only 16 years old, but I have been, so that's my first child. A newborn named Kamaya, who never came home to sleep in her new bassinet or to play with her new toys. The family is a bundle of nerves. I worry about the baby health, what's the baby going through, and my granddaughter, because emotionally she's about to break down. Soon after the abduction, police began searching, and this is who they're looking for. A black female, about 5'5", five five, weighing 150 to 160 pounds, who was most likely wearing a wig. Shannara's family thought the kidnapper was a hospital employee. The woman even called the baby by name. But all that help in the hospital room suddenly became a mother's nightmare. Yeah, I try to think positive, thank the lady just trying to help my baby. Then again, I think my baby could be crashed. She could, take, she could be trying to take pills and smother my baby. I don't know what to think. And that would be the that, that would be the happiest thing in the world to be right now is to hold my baby. <laughs> and I know that she's not going nowhere else. <laughs> Shannara Mobley says she does not blame the hospital, but says someone working there could have played a part in the abduction. In the meantime, other family members say they want to know why security at the hospital was so apparently lax in the first place. Ray Lane, Channel 4, Eyewitness News.